Welcome to Pixie Time. Do hit that subscribe button to join the family. Let's get reading. Sona and the Wedding Game. Written by Karishma Seth. Illustrated by Yoshiko Jaggi. My grandparents and my cousin have come from India for my sister Nisha Ben's wedding. There is so much to do. Even I have a job. Sona, my grandmother says, Will you be in charge of stealing the groom's shoes? Why would I do that, Dadima? I ask. It's a tradition for the bride's sister, she tells me. It's a way for our families to get to know each other. I already know Anilji, I say. And what will I do with his shoes anyway? My cousin Vishal sprinkles a handful of petals on my head. It's like a fun game, he says. You figure out a way to steal his shoes and then he has to bargain with you to get them back. I shoo him away. Anil's brother will be guarding his shoes, Nisha Ben says. You'll have to trick Jitu. I'll do it, I say, but I'm not sure. I've only met Jitu once. I hope I recognize him. Will Anilji and Jitu be here to get their hands painted? Only girls apply mehendi, Vishal snorts. Don't you know anything? I stay quiet. Did Anilji get a white horse to ride? Vishal asks. Of course, Nisha Ben replies. A horse? I gasp. Do you get to ride one too, Nisha Ben? Only the groom does, na? Vishal gallops around the room. That's how he gets to the wedding. Even though Vishal is younger than me, he thinks he knows everything. He's been to lots of weddings. But this is my first one. It's not fair. That afternoon, Dadima shows me how to mix turmeric, rose water and chickpea flour into a creamy paste. We rub it on Nisha Ben before she showers. It gives her skin a silvery shimmer, a silky softness and a fragrant smell. Later, we hang the garlands we made over the doorways. We have created beautiful rangoli designs on the floor with colored sand. More relatives arrive, turning our house into a festival. Vishal keeps babbling, babbling, babbling. He's such a know-it-all. I keep plotting, plotting, plotting. How can I steal Anilji's shoes? Could I dress up as a robber and snatch them? Or dump red kumkum powder on Jitu to distract him? Then I have an idea, but I will need an assistant. Will you help me steal Anilji's shoes? I ask Vishal. Yes! You can bargain for a million dollars, na? Let's steal the shoes first, I say. Then I'll worry about the bargain. I tell him my plan. The Mehendi party is in the night before the wedding. An artist draws flowers, wines and peacocks on my palms with a brown paste made from leaves. It's glue sticky and moonlight cool. 
After the paste dries, I rub it off, leaving a beautiful design on my skin. The next morning, Dadima fancy braids my hair. All set for shoe stealing? She asks. Yes, I say. But I am worried. Finally, it is time for the wedding. Anilji arrives on a white horse, just like Vishal said. His family and friends dance around him. The silver threads on his turban shine like stars. The horse is handsome, with large eyes and a calm face. He seems to smile at me. I want to throw my arms around him. Mom puts a tilak of kumkum on Anilji's forehead for good luck. Before Anilji enters the wedding mandap, he takes off his shoes and passes them to his brother. Jitu slips them into a bag, then sits in the front row, just in front of me and next to Vishal. Perfect! He slides the shoe bag under his chair. Sona! Don't even think about stealing the shoes, he says, as if he knows what I was planning. Why would I want Anilji's shoes? I try to look confused. Nisha Ben is dazzling in her red gold sari. For a minute, I forgot to breathe. The priest's voice is loud and soothing, but I don't understand what he's saying. The first thing they do is pray to Lord Ganesh, Vishal whispers. Then they invite the whole universe to the wedding. Are you sure? Yes, they invite rivers and mountains, planets and stars, sun and moon. You don't understand because it's all in Sanskrit. It's time. I feel like thousands of flower petals are whirling in my stomach. I nudge Vishal. Do you want to wear my turban? He whispers to Jitu. It won't fit. It might na. Try it. Vishal tries to put his turban on Jitu. My heart thumps. I slide the bag out from under Jitu's chair. I remove Anilji's shoes hide them under my long skirt and put my shoes into the bag instead. Vishal pushes the turban at Jitu, but it falls into the aisle. Jitu reaches out to grab it and his chair tips over with a clankety clank. Everyone glares at him. I collapse back into my chair. No one noticed me. The priest ties Anilji's scarf to Nisha Ben's sari and they circle the sacred fire several times. First, Nisha Ben leads, then Anilji. Now they make seven promises, Vishal says. What kind? Jitu asks. I want to know too. To not fight, share everything, not keep secrets, be best friends and love and stuff like that. Then they are married. Nisha Ben and Anilji walk out from under the mantap. Dadima and Dadiji are the first to bless them, but then others follow. Jitu hands Anilji the bag. I kept your shoes safe. Anilji pulls out my shoes. These are a little too small for me. Everyone laughs. Maybe these will fit. I hold up Anilji's shoes. But, but how? Jitu sputters. When did you steal them? Sona, how about if we swap shoes? Anilji asks. No way, I say. I want a better reward than that. What if I give you this turban? 
No way, Vishal says. Sona doesn't need a turban and I already have one now. He helped me, I explain, and I already know what I want. Anilji laughs when I whisper my request in his ear, but he agrees. Perfect shoe stealing job, Dadima says. That was fun, I say. Now I'm ready for my prize. Sona's request was to ride on the handsome white horse. The end. Do like, share and subscribe. See you next time on Pixie Time.